Hey, Astro Kids, and welcome back. And this is my interpretation of what it looks like to have your natal moon in the Noxatra of Hasta. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we get into this, we first have to understand what the moon represents, and then we have to break down this Noxatra of Hasta. And just a quick disclaimer that this is not according to Western tropical astrology. This will be according to Vedic astrology. So if you're not sure what your sidereal moon sign is, there is a link to a calculator down below in the description so that you have the correct information. So the moon is one of the most important grahas in astrology. This is representing your mind. Therefore, the moon represents everything in your life. The moon is a reflector. It is a projector. Everything that is happening in your mind becomes a manifestation within your physical reality. In the same way, you are perceiving everything that is happening within your reality. So the moon is projecting what is in your mind and is reflecting everything within your reality. The moon represents your body, your health, how you are interacting with others. When people are coming across you and you are making connections with others, this is the personality that is coming forward. The moon represents your social standings, how you fit into society, how you're able to adapt and relate to others. The moon is also popularity and beauty. The moon is representing the mother, your connection to your mother, what kind of nurturing that you need emotionally, what is making you feel emotionally satisfied. The moon is also representing all of the fluid within your body. So it is connected to your water intake. It is connected to your nourishment, all of your needs that need to be met. The moon is a very personal planet that has to do with your emotions, how you're reacting and responding to situations around you. So hasta means the hand, and this is referred to as the golden-handed star. This also is symbolized by a fist or by laughter. And so this has everything to do with the use of the hands, the dexterity, the skills, this is a Noxatra that is falling from 10 degrees till 23 degrees, 20 minutes of Virgo. And this is ruled over by Savatar, which is the deity of light. This is the golden-handed one who is able to make anything that he touches come to life. And so this Noxatra has everything to do with manifestation through the use of the hands. And so this is a Noxatra that is very much about the combination of intelligence and creativity, the ability to use the hands to craft, to make things come to life. This is hugely connected to craftsmanship, to artistry, to those who have very skilled abilities to work with their hands. Those who are involved with writing, sewing, any kind of design work, anything that is very intricate, that is detailed, where you have to use your analytical abilities in order to apply this creativity. So these are individuals who are highly intelligent, very much about details, about logic, about understanding how everything fits together on a very intricate level. These are individuals who often are possessing a very high level of intelligence and are very skilled and talented in many areas of life. And so these are people who develop skills that they can use through the use of their hands, their tools, their intelligence. These are people who often are very emotional as well. So this is one of our moon noxatras. Our first moon Noxatra was in Rohini. This is our second one. And these are individuals who have this ability to combine this creativity with their analytical skills. As this is in Virgo, where Mercury feels the most at home. It is its Mulitricone sign. This is also the Noxatra where Mercury gets exalted. So the ability to communicate, the ability to write, the ability to take up different skills, to do well in education are all falling under this Noxatra of Hasta. On the negative side, this analytical nature 
of these individuals can be used in a very crafty way. And so these are individuals who can be tricksters, pranksters, pickpocketers, thieves, people who are using their cleverness and dexterity for the wrong reasons. And this is a Deva Naksatra that has the primary aim of moksha. So this is not a negative Naksatra. This is about how the individual chooses to use their talents. Are they using it for good or for bad? Now, with this being all about the use of the hands, this is also related to healing. And so you can see surgeons, Reiki masters, people who are working with all sorts of healing arts that involve the use of the hands, massage therapists. These are individuals who are very skilled and talented in all areas involving the use of their hands. In some cases, they can even use both of their hands, this ambidextrous use here in this Naksatra of Hasa. All of this is coming through the hands. And this ability to grasp onto things is also talking about the intelligence, the ability to grasp onto information, to dissect it, to understand it at a deeper level. So again, this is a very logical Naksatra, very analytical. We are here in the heart of Virgo. We just talked in our previous Naksatra how Virgo gives a very logical, very analytical way of thinking. And so we can see this very strong here in this Hasta Naksatra. Hasta is also a Naksatra that is very much caring, that is very supportive, that is very much about helping others. However, this is a very flighty Naksatra because we have Mercury and the Moon together, which are the quickest of all the planets. So there is a changeable nature here, a restlessness. These are individuals who need to move, who need to be doing something. There's a difficulty with sitting still. There is a need to be productive, to travel, to explore, to adventure. And so there can be a restlessness both within the mind and physically within the body, where there is difficulty with sitting still. There can be difficulties like anxiety, OCD, with this Naksatra, with this restlessness, this need to be active, this need to be doing something. These are individuals who also, interestingly enough, can be more towards being scientific or they can lean more towards being spiritual. There is both sides of this Naksatra. And you will notice that those who are born under this Hasta Naksatra have the ability to either debunk spirituality and to move completely towards science, or they have the ability to come up with the facts and the reasoning behind spirituality. So there is an ability to charm others. There's an ability to speak in a way that is noticed by others. But this is associated again with this deity of Savitar, who wished to have all the gods have faith in him. And so these are individuals who can get a whole community to believe in them, to hold faith in them. And these are individuals who can be very responsible, very punctual. Again, we're here in the sign of Virgo, where there is maturity, there is logic. This is all about service, all about responsibility, all about helping others. So again, these are individuals who are very social, who are very much about community, about togetherness, about helping one another. On the negative side, this is a Naksatra that can get into difficulties in life. There is a tendency to go through a lot of ups and downs all throughout their lives. And it tends to get better around the age of 30. So in the earlier part of the host individual's life, there are lots of ups and downs happening, a lot of difficulties. And this Naksatra is also associated with five stars that are found within the Corvus constellation, which is the Crow constellation. But there's one star that is emphasized the most for this Naksatra, which is Algora, which is associated with destruction, violence, terrorism, accidents. And so this is a Naksatra that has a tendency to go through many difficulties throughout their journey. 
This is also heavily connected to the military because of this association with Algora. So there can also be an interest towards being in the military. There can be an interest towards the use of weapons, an interest towards anything that is related to war and violence that is associated with this Nakshatra as well. Health-wise, this can show issues of high blood pressure, issues of anger, of emotional outburst. Again, this is associated with this star of Algora, where there is a very aggressive side to this Nakshatra, a very merciless side to this Nakshatra. On the other side of this, again, these are very caring individuals. Now, with the combination of the Moon and Mercury together, these are individuals who also could have an interest in psychology. There's an ability to understand other human beings and how they think, how they work, and to really be able to decipher this. These are also individuals who could have an interest in hypnotherapy as well. People who have an interest in astrology and palmistry, again, related back to the hand. But this is all associated with the moon that is ruling over the mind. So there's an ability to understand how the human mind works. These are people who can be very clever, very charming, excellent negotiators, able to easily find ways to make money to move up the ranks in their career. These are people who could be very productive and who can achieve great feats within their career. Again, individuals who are very skilled and talented with their hands. There also can be an interest in acting in any kind of form of creative expression under this Nakshatra. These are individuals who are extremely fast-paced, and so they can have an intelligence that is very quick, that is very agile, that's very easy to fool others. This is a Nakshatra that is also associated with, again, pranksters, with pickpocketers, but also with magic. So there's an ability to do magic here. This can be associated with magicians with those who have a talent with illusionary arts. But this also is strongly associated with magic, with doing spells, and with working with occult knowledge. So these are people who can be very mystical, very knowledgeable in the mystical arts. These are individuals who can also have excellent handwriting. Again, all to do with the use of the hands. These are individuals who also can have a love for cars, who can be people who are very much about being on the go, traveling, again, very restless, very energetic, people who are having difficulty with sitting still. There's a need to be active. These are individuals who can be very focused on their health as well, all about staying in shape and paying close attention to diet, for some of them. There is also this ability to give others advice about health. Again, strong healers that are born under this Nakshatra. These are people who have a love for traveling, but on the flip side, there can be a little bit of a stubbornness to this Nakshatra, a difficulty with actually getting outside of their comfort zone and exploring new areas. These are people who can be very much about staying and what is comfortable and what has been tried and tested before. And this is associated with the moon, which is all to do with our nourishment, our comfort. So these are people who are all about staying and what is comfortable. At the same time, this is contradicted by Mercury, which makes these individuals very curious. And so there can be a tendency to want to explore things from within their own comfort zone. These are people who have a love for novelty, who have a love for travel, but may have difficulty with actually taking action to move in the direction of the things that they want to pursue. There can be a passiveness to this Nakshatra. These are individuals who also can be very calm, very collective. They're very good at understanding how to relate and connect with others on an emotional level. And so there is something about their energy and presence that can be very relaxing, that can be very easy to relate and connect to. These are people who can also have an excellent sense of humor. 
So again, another symbol of this Naksadra is laughter. And these are individuals who can sometimes have a dry or cynical humor. There's a tendency to be able to look at the negatives or the difficulties of life and to find the humor in it, to find the joy in life. And so there is a tendency to make light of heavier situations and to be able to work around those difficulties. These are people who often go through tragic situations or again are going through ups and downs through out their life. So they develop a humor around those difficulties that helps them to navigate their way through life. These are individuals who can be very humorous, very charming, very charismatic. They have a very friendly and captivating personality about them. These are often people who are also very hard working. They're very much on task, focused on the things that they want to accomplish. Again, these are people who do very well in professions, in their professional life. They're very skilled, very talented people, and they're very good at achieving their goals. So these are people who are able to quickly learn, who are quickly able to develop skills and to move up the ladder of their success very much hardworking people. Now, each Naksatra has four quarters or four paras. So we can take this 13 degree, 20 minute Naksatra and break it up into four, three degree, 20 minute sections. And the first is falling under an Aries Navamsa. This is from 10 degrees till 13 degrees, 20 minutes of Virgo. Here in the Aries Navamsa, there is an abundance of energy. These are very energetic people, always on the go, always looking for a new adventure. These are individuals who also can have a very short temper. So very much people who are about going very fast, moving very fast paced through life and can get easily frustrated, easily angry. These are people who also are often very skilled in the military or skilled in surgery, people who are skilled in mathematics. These are people who are very talented, able to grasp onto information very quickly. They're often people who are also expert manipulators. They can be excellent at lying, at fooling others. They have a way with their words and they're very quick. They are very sneaky and charming people who are able to outsmart others. They also can have a love towards pets. So there can be a connection with animals. There can be a desire to have a pet, a large collection of animals within the home. Those who are born within the second quarter of this Naksatra are falling under a Taurus Navamsa. And these are people who are often very creative, very much into art, drama, dance. These are people who love to dress well, who are very into fashion design. Those who have very good taste. They're very good at picking out fashion and understanding how designs come together. These are people who are very sweet, very caring. They often have very good morals and they're very good at keeping up with their finances. They often have a very good income. Those who are born under the third quarter of this Hasta Naksatra are falling under a Gemini Navamsa. These are individuals who are very skilled in communication. They're very good in terms of business skills. They're very skilled in working with money and working in the areas of stock, of commerce. These are people who make excellent traders, people who are very, so these can make excellent bankers here in this third quarter. These are individuals who also can make excellent writers, and so they can make excellent journalists. These are excellent reporters born under this third quarter. And these are people who are very analytical. They're very intellectual, very curious individuals, always thinking, always gathering information, very clever-minded. Those who are born within the fourth quarter of this Hastanaksatra often have a strong bond with their mother. They are very sweet, very sensitive individuals, very much about caring and helping others. On the negative side, this is a Naksatra that has a tendency to have difficulty with letting go. 
And so these are individuals who can hoard, who can hold on to things, who can have difficulty moving on. They have these strong emotional ties, these very deep emotions here in this fourth quarter. These are individuals who also can be very much tied towards their family, their home, their country. There can be difficulty with trying out new things. Very sensitive individuals and very difficult individuals when they are pushed past their limit. They can be very moody, very defensive. They can have emotional outbursts. But these are individuals who are very intellectual, very analytical. They are very skilled people and they are very materialistic. Thank you.